I've opened up a new ladder logic project in Codasys. I'm going to go down to my program on the left side under devices, double click, and I have my variable list and my ladder logic. I'll pull down my ladder elements toolbox and I'm going to input them manually. I'll start with a contact and I'll end with a coil. I want this contact to energize this coil and when this coil is energized I'd like it to turn on two more rows. So let's start off by creating a variable name for this contact and we'll call this push button one. When I press enter it asks for variable type I'm going to make sure that this is a boolean variable and hit OK. For my output on the coil, I'm going to call this y1 for my output. Again, boolean variable on off. OK. When I push this button, this coil should activate. Now I would like to create two more rungs. So I'm going to take another contact, put it down here, another contact and put it down here and each of these is going to get a coil I'm going to call this light one so that'll be my output boolean variable and I'm going to call this light two so I've got two separate outputs that should get controlled by this y1 to simply use this output to activate these two rungs when I click here, I can select from my list and I'm going to select Y1. Hit OK. The same thing here, I'll select from my list and double click Y1. Now we're going to go into simulate mode and test our program. So let's go to the online menu, click simulation. You should see the red simulation bar pop up at the bottom and then we'll log into our controller. Our device doesn't exist, so we're going to create it. Our simulation is stopped, and we can prepare values, and we can control our project. So let's prepare a true value for push button one, and let's see what happens. We'll go online, make sure everything's good, and we'll go and start our controller in the debug menu. We can see we're in run mode, and under debug, let's write the values. And we can see as soon as we push this button, this coil was activated, and these two buttons also activated these two lights. So when I push this button off or put it in false, I'll write those values and everything should go off. So by one push button, I'm controlling three individual outputs.